Hi there, Joker here with another video today. Um, this one features the Spabinders June 2023 small die kit, which is this one. And it's a, another really cute uh, kit. It has an octopus um, jellyfish and they are different layers, as you can see, that you can uh, create from different colors. Then there's some... Um, I don't know if they are seaweed or algae or whatever they are called. And you can create a sign with two different sentiments and then a star. Um, so I created um, or die cut my little animals from three different colors. And as you can see, if you know Spabinders dies, uh, there, there are uh, interactive dies always the same um, like this that you can add either a foam dot in the middle of that circle or I usually just die cut that part many times and then layer it up and then uh, hang that part on it but I didn't do it this time I didn't want to, uh, them to be interactive um, but it would be a fun way I did not do that because um, from the octopus as well I die cut three uh, one was just not enough and <laughs> they were so cute so um and those three will cover my card front pretty much so i did not want them to also move you know there wouldn't have been space for that but if you only place one on the card then it's perfect for um if it's interactive and it's really not difficult to do i even i could have done it <laughs> normally i avoid um interactive cards but um, but yeah, this time I could have done it. So um, the first sign is done and then I die cut the octopus three times, like I said, from three different um, colors. Um, and now I am creating my card base. The, the cards in this video I also uh, five by seven inches. And then I am adding some foam tape to the head uh, of the octopus to create to create a little bit of uh, dimension and I'm not going to um, glue down the tentacles just so that there's a you know there's a there's movement on the card. I did not use a very thick um, foam tape I think maybe like two millimeters or maybe even just one. Um, but but I felt like I, I uh, it needed that because the the tentacles were so dimensional already. I did not glue them together. I only at the very, like at the top, and then you know that I don't like white space, so I'm filling up those um, empty spots with these little sea stars, and again I'm kind of trying to place them around the let's say the the purple ones around the purple purple octopus and then um the pink ones around the pink one and so on and i'm going from top to bottom from light to dark colors that's kind of my go-to um kind of <laughs> my rainbow you know with with any colors I, I just do it the same way I feel like um then I'm going to place this little sign in the in one of the arms or tentacles here and glue it down and that's it pretty much for this card it's very simple most of it just really die cutting but even that is not it doesn't take long. Um, maybe the stars, you know, because you only have one die and then you really have to repeat that a lot, especially if you layer it up. But that's it. Okay, so this is not a 3D embossing folder. It, I think it's from last year, if I remember correctly. And I thought these dots are perfect to represent bubbles, um, which would work well with this uh, sea life theme, I think. So um, that's going to be the background of my second card. And 
in this one I am going to um, use the same sign with the different sentiment like you saw in the beginning there were two sentiments this one says yay and then I am going to create a different kind of scene but very simple at the bottom I'm going to place these um, I don't know kelp algae I, I really <laughs> I really don't know these um, any of these things um, and um, yeah what did I want to say oh yeah that there is only two dice but I think uh, they cut more than two pieces maybe three um, of these seaweed and I wanted to create a bunch of different ones so that they don't repeat um, I don't I don't know why but I don't quite like repeat patterns so I try to create a bunch that look different and then once I'm kind of happy with what they look I start to glue them down and then I want to place some around my sign so that it kind of um, inter um, entwined but at well at the later point in the video I am going to realize that I want more um, seaweed so around um, well you will see maybe you will see what I mean uh, it's all kind of one level you know and I, I don't like that I like a bit more random things because I feel like that's a bit more organic and um, once I place my jellyfish I actually add some foam tape to the, these as well and um, I will again go from darkest at the bottom to lightest at the top so they are just going to swim um, kind of from top to bottom <laughs> and I will come back to the uh, seaweed I call it seaweed but it could be totally different <laughs> um, and I will add some more to you know to, to to make some of them longer um, I hope that makes sense uh, you will see in a second and again this card is super um, uh, here it is uh, also I'm placing some behind that sign you can of course you cannot see the bottom of it so it can basically be that long right just I don't know for me this looks a bit more natural um, again, so this card was also very quick, um, only die cutting a lot. <laughs> so I hope you like them anyway. I hope you like this month's kits. I think they are really cute. Um, and then I hope to see you on the 10th. Uh, I still have to do the voiceover for those videos, but I hope I'm going to manage. Uh, thank you very much for watching and again, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.